Now we have a federated model consisting of two IFC files loaded in the Celebri model checker. We need to look at how we can navigate. The easiest way to do this is with a standard three button wheel mouse. We have four types of navigation we can use. And as you can see, they consist of pan, spin, walk and game. The numbers next to these show the shortcuts that you can use to quickly jump between them. So pressing number 1 will take you to pan, number 2 to spin, and etc. 99% of the time we use the default spin method and pan and zoom are available from the wheel on the mouse. We also have controls here that allow us to zoom and jump to preset positions around the model. If I click top front left, you'll see the model spins to this new position. I'll reset it to top front right. If we now look at the spin method for navigation, to do this we simply click on a component and drag the mouse. And as long as you hold the mouse wheel, the model will spin. We can position the model where we wish, and then if we use the mouse wheel, we can scroll. If we use the mouse wheel and click and hold, we can also pan. But we should be careful to click on a component each time for navigation, because if I click over here in a free space, you sometimes see the model is harder to control. And the, reason for this is the, the reason for this is the origin remembers the last point you used if you don't click on a fresh component. So each time you want to spin, you should always click on a component to give you full control. This is especially noticeable in large models where there's large distances between components. I'll reset the position of the model. We have another method for navigation that we can use, which is the navigation map located in the bottom corner of the screen. If it's not visible, or you maybe accidentally closed it, it can be reopened by clicking here. I'll use the corner to resize, and you can see we have a footprint plan of the building visible. We can use this map to change stories. Here we can see a list of stories available within our architectural model and I can jump between floors. You'll see as I go between floors the map automatically redraws to display the relevant information. The position relative to the building is shown by the yellow arrow and we can actually change this by double clicking on a new point. The direction of the view doesn't change but now we're in this new position we can use the spin, pan and whatever other tools are necessary to move the model around to get the new position we require. There are some keyboard shortcuts we can also use during navigation. These are available by resting the mouse over the navigation method in the pull-down menu.